She's like, what is happening in my driveway? She still doesn't know who I am. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What? <laughs> My name is Derek Hinckley. I've been building pirate ships for kids for about 11 years now. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're building you guys a pirate ship. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Serious. Yeah, your, your mom and dad nominated Hiram uh, weeks and weeks ago to get the pirate ship get back. So you guys are the first. Are you serious? This is Hiram, my son, he's eight years old. I don't think people even realize how much work it takes to load Hiram and his sister and all of the stuff that he requires and get them to a park. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Well, now the park's coming to you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Surprise. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh my gosh. When we first moved to Nashville, my wife and I, we had, our, we had two boys then. And we didn't have a lot of money, didn't have much, didn't have anything to, uh, to do in the backyard. I had an extra stack of lumber sitting in the backyard. And I said, I'm gonna build a pirate ship out of that. And uh, after about three or four months, it was done. And kids were crazy about it. Uh, the neighborhood kids were like, wow, this is awesome. They would never leave our house. So I started, uh, Started marketing the idea, throwing it out there, built a website, and I travel all over the country. I've been outside the country a few times, and I've, I've done several Make-A-Wish projects for kids all over the country. 150, 160 pirate ships later, here we are. We got, what, a seven, eight hour drive up to Michigan? And this guy contacted me because he is uh, doing kind of a pirate theme, a uh, mini golf course, a putt putt golf course. And is this ship going to be part of a hole? Yes. I'm going to have to get my golf on. Yeah, man. We'll get to... Yeah, I had no idea when we were going up here for this job that it was going to be the biggest build ever. As a matter of fact, that was, I'm pretty sure that was a surprise to both of us, wasn't it? This thing is tall. It's out of control. When's your, when's your opening? You know, we were trying for this weekend, but I don't know. We got a lot to do. Yeah, yeah. But if you guys can build the ship in three days, yeah, we I can. can tell my carpenter, hey, I go, don't let these guys make you look bad. <laughs> I don't think he brings me along for the expertise. I just got different boards than I should have. Messing up. I like your attitude. It's this really is messing good. up. I think it was pretty intentional. I think it's mainly for my jovial nature and really high quality jokes. Oh, son of a, dude. Holy, look at that. That doesn't feel good. That's a half inch. Did it hit your fingernail from the other side? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is my office. Welcome to my office. It's better than a, any corner office, any high rise, anywhere. I would submit. Hey man. Looking a little bit more finished. How yeah. Doing, man? I'm jealous of the space in here. Right. Stand straight up. <laughs> Pretty ridiculous. This is nice, this headroom. Yeah, Isn't it nice? I love it. Oh yeah. Finished boat. Finished boat. Yeah. Yeah. This is from Tennessee right here. I spent a little time in this backyard to see something very special, something you don't see every day. It's made for a family and it's something that binds them together, especially when they need it most. Nathan's wife had just given birth to their second child, Emmeline. The family was complete. Nathan was headed out the door to go help out his mom's house, but he stopped. He hugged me and we said, I love you. And we didn't do that every time he left. He was just going to his mom's. He drove away and never came back. Doing what I do has put me in some positions that I never would have been in otherwise, and meeting the Harvey family is one of those moments that I'll never forget. 
Uh, Janice Harvey lost her husband, Nathan, only eight days after their second daughter was born. And he had been building a play set for their girls in the backyard that he was never able to finish. But Janice was committed to giving the girls one more gift from their dad. A distraught mom Googled pirate ship playset, and the magic started. The backyard of Nathan Harvey, complete with its own pirate ship, a magical gift from daddy. Once I met this family and learned of their story, and me being a songwriter, and I realized how special this backyard was gonna be for them, on a drive home from Louisiana, this song just came to me. Red door swings in the bayou breeze Sunshine warms the falling leaves Just seems like another autumn day in the backyard of Nathan Harvey. Songwriting and performing has been a major creative outlet for me for my whole life, and my brothers and I have been a band for as long as we can remember. Our parents had us in the studio singing with them from an early age, and we've carried on that tradition ever since. Oh, 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 oh. So we're a close family and my brothers have helped me with several pirate ship builds over the years and when I told them about the Harvey family and about the song I had written, we decided we wanted to do more. So we drove to Louisiana and we put on a concert in Nathan Harvey's backyard for the community to all come together and help all those uh, that love Nathan to heal. The first day I was here building, I knew that I was going to be writing a song about this place, about this yard, about the structures that were here just felt like home. As my brothers can tell you, anytime that something happens, good, bad, or ugly, I write a song about it. Says, Mama, why do you have to go? Mama says, only Jesus knows. I mean, you hire someone to build a ship, and then they write a song, and it's a, a gift. In the backyard of Nathan Harvey building amazing pirate ships for the last 13 years has been a, a wild, unplanned ride that I'm really grateful for. But now I'm moved by the idea of not just transforming backyards, but transforming lives. And I could wait a year, five years, 10 years to start doing that for people, but it's never too early to start doing good things. Even if you can't change the world, like in a large macro way, you can do something small. You can do what you can do well. Morning in motion, back up and drive to a work site he never has seen. Well, I'm off once again to make a little kid's pirate wish come true. Are you a spider or what? <laughs> you kind of look like a spider on that web. We're just very thankful. We're just extremely thankful because he's been through a ton. All right, let's see you test everything out. Let's see that landing. You stick the landing? Oh, yeah. A quick call from home and a video chat. The price that you pay as a pirate's life dad. Now there's one more ship left to build and he's It might be. It's a lot bigger than we thought it was. <laughs> He's given him the opportunity to play with his sister, brother, cousin. Yeah. And that wants to have some of his own as well, so we are very thankful. So cool. Yeah. Like a pirate play ship that Hiram can play on? I mean, that's what you want as a mom. Look at that grand. One more ship left to build. that face of surprise, the face of joy, of something really good happening in your life, I want more of that. So you like to call me Pirate King, huh? Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that nickname. I like it. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make a t-shirt that says Pirate King on it. How about that? Mm -hmm. Is that a good idea? Mm -hmm.